Hey everyone, we're looking at the uh, NATO Division Commander map and you may realize that there are no units on this map here. That's because we got a little coverage action going on. And in fact, you can't even see those guys there, that little section right there. No looking, no looking, no peeking. What's going on? Well, the good news is there is no good news. Not for you guys. Life is tough at the moment for the, uh, the US player. Let me uh, run, recap what happened for turn one for your movement, and this will uh, be appended to the situational report that you will receive in the next, you know, 24 hours or whenever I get around to it. So, 2-8 arrived up in the northern end of the map up there. Let's just see if we can zoom in up real quick. Boom, up that guy right, those guys right there. So we took uh, two, uh, two battalions in the HQ and situated them here. And then there's a gap here where you have... Whoa, sorry guys, I've done a really bad job of uh, camera work, aren't I? There we go. Got that company here uh, that has now moved, and I'll explain why it's moved <clears throat> and why it's changed mode in just a moment. And then 1-8 uh, uh, came on, 1st uh, Brigade of the 8th Division uh, started moving up uh, this way and uh, ended here because of the two interdictions that were uh, placed by the Soviets that chewed up a lot of movement points uh, moving in TAC mode. You know, I get 20 movement points in TAC mode and uh, at some point I want to have a talk about these optional rules that I was trying to use and have since abandoned uh, just because I think it's simpler to uh, affect mode change and all the rest of it and, and not have to keep track of hours and bits and pieces. Made it a little bit more fiddly. There were some interesting things about it, but never mind. Anyway, so 1-8 uh, kind of got to here. And uh, what we decided to do with... Uh, with 2-8 is to detach uh, two units and, uh, and attach them to 1-8. Uh, and so we put one here as a uh, ready uh, sort of counterattack force uh, in TM mode and another here in TM mode as well. Actually, is that them? Yeah, there, that, that, that's those guys there. We had previously agreed, those guys there, we had previously agreed that we would place uh, uh, the 267th mechanized infantry in uh, this town here, Vetterfeld and we would move uh, the, this one company to Lau, Laubach. Okay, so that all happened, that, that all worked out. The uh, one company that is underneath here, that I will show you in a minute, well, actually I may not show you because I don't want to reveal too much of the other forces, uh, has uh, managed to get into mobile defense mode and uh, got itself in a little bit of trouble. <clears throat> and there's one more company up here the little ways that we'll have to have a, a discussion about as well. All right, so if keep all that in mind, there you go. That's kind of what's happened. Now, since then, it's now the beginning of the second turn and we roll for weather and we got precipitation. And that's just one of the things that's bad news. That's bad news for you guys because Soviets not only get plus two on all their attacks, uh, it halved your air. And when it halved your air, that means you're gonna have less resources, ready resources available to uh, uh, use for uh, barrage, for defense, or for uh, intel. And I was thinking that last turn I may have made a mistake in allowing the off-board resources to be used for intel. And I don't think I'm incorrect, but I'm not sure. So this turn, uh, you only have three air from Div Main that could be used, and certainly have a stack of signal that could be used but I'm not, I'm not 100% certain that it can be used. And I think, I think we're gonna rule that it can be, uh, just because it would make sense that even though uh, the uh, div main is off board, I can still project its resources onto the board. Now I can't use artillery for final protective fire or barrage or anything like that. Uh, that wouldn't make sense. And it has to be within 10 hexes of the target hex anyway. So that is all kind of logically hangs together a little bit. Um, let me just take a quick drink here. And then, so the Soviets moved uh, and they uh, initiated a uh, hasty, they tried to change into a hasty attack mode up here and were not successful and ended up just uh, hitting this unit in administrative mode. 
and uh, took uh, took a one step loss, and these guys took uh, one step loss and retreated with the other one, and that disengaged them. And because they retreated, they then were uh, more than two hexes away from their uh, double zone uh, extensions. So they collapsed back on this guy. That flips them immediately to administrative mode, which is good for you guys. Except that you're still, I think that you're still going to be half engaged there at the very least. So we'll pop a half engaged on there. And uh, so then uh, with this uh, city now rubbled, uh, haunt, Hornberg rubbled. Uh, the, uh, the the bad guys moved through and powered on down the road, getting back on track to their their primary uh, road access, which is E4. And they brought the 27th Division's 93rd and 94th regiments online. They did uh, they did their intel searching here, and and they know that there are four units in the hex in the sector, but they didn't know where, and so they just moved in uh, standard formation. They moved one guy up, and he hit a dude, and so then they went uh, tried to go around that guy to get onto the flank to see if there was anything behind. And they hit another guy, and so then they stopped, and so they then brought a third guy in so that they can potentially attack here next turn if they can change modes. Uh, they did not use. Uh, the opportunity to attack in administrative mode. Uh, they had a quick look at the defensive values here and it was clearly not going to be an advantageous attack and would be expensive. So they attempted to go around, could not go around, and so thus are now going to convert to hasty attack probably next turn, uh, as far as you know. Uh, 94th is kind of backed up along the highway here. Uh, the uh, one company that is up uh, one sector to the right here is uh, surrounded by an entire regiment plus uh, the recon elements of 27th. Uh, the uh, I'm going to move this very carefully. Uh, let me zoom in first so you don't see too much. Move this over. Let's go this way here. So I'm just going to scoot this back. Um, there's your there's your guy. <laughs> There's your guy right there. Oops, sorry. You can't see him because I'm uh, zoomed in too far. Until two, here it is right here. Okay. <clears throat> here are your guys in mobile defense. They uh, position themselves into mobile defense. We put interdiction markers down there, I think, as well, try and slow stuff down. And that mobile defense uh, assisted them greatly. However, they still took uh, a uh, two-step loss. And because they were surrounded, they elected not to uh, try and retreat. Uh, they couldn't. So they are trying to hold uh, that town, Rupert, something or other, whatever it's called. What's the name of that darn town? I forget, Rupertorn or something like that. Um, the other things that you do know is that this company is in contact with uh, Elements of Seventh. That's one of the recon units, and that's all you know so far. Uh, so you need to allocate resources to search. And the tricky question is, this can became a, a long video, I'm sorry guys. Uh, the tricky question is now, Obviously, you probably want to search one, two, three, four, well, and probably not this one, four uh, sectors. But there are other sectors that you may want to search, search as well, and uh, that are behind here uh, to understand more about what's going on. So there's a minimum of four that I will search for you, but I'm going to need some guidance from you in terms of what you would like to search other than... Uh, these four sectors, given that you have a limited number of signal units that you can use, um, you're going to need to be judicious. Whatever you search for, you are going to find out very much, pretty much everything about those units that are in the sector. Just because your rating is so high, it's 13 or 14 at the moment, uh, maybe actually be 15. Uh, so that I don't think that we're going to... Um, <laughs> we're going to be able to prevent you from knowing what's on the board wherever you search in a sector. Okay, so what do I need you to do? I need you to think about 
what additional sectors you want to search, I will provide you with an appropriate um, a poll or something to use. Uh, and we'll, we'll kind of go from there. So maybe a number of uh, sectors to search, probably, you know, some of these, maybe up here, maybe this one here, maybe, th you know, this one here, who knows? So they're going to be up to you guys. I will talk to you soon and we'll uh, whack this back into, uh, into the situation report and you'll have a full report pretty, pretty soon.